Right, I am going to show you how to crop an audio file, like a song, to remove either the beginning or the end, uh, which is particularly useful if you've downloaded a song off YouTube, or if some songs have lengthy intros or outros, which just are annoying. So. Um, what you're going to want to do is go to iTunes, just here. Uh, this is the Rihanna song that we downloaded earlier. And then, if you listen to this song, let's play it. It's like you're screaming. She just talks for I a long time. You might not want you to listen to this, you know. ashamed that someone could be that important, that without them, you feel like nothing. So what we want to do is basically take out all that crap. Um, and to do this, you're going to want to take note of when exactly you want the song to start. So this little bit here, you can see it says 18 seconds. You're going to want to watch that as closely as you can and listen to the point in the song that you want the song to start and pause it if you want. But basically, note what time it was, how far into the song it was when you want the song to start. So we'll continue playing and then I'll choose a point. No one will ever understand how much it hurts. You feel hopeless. Yeah, this is Stuff back. So the yeah, we're done! So, I mean, let's say that was 51 seconds. If we go to 51 seconds and play it again, it's about 51 and a half seconds. That's when, you know, the song starts. So, you don't really want to listen to 51 seconds of some British girl, you know, nattering on. So, 51 seconds. What we're going to do is go to the song we're just down here, and we're going to right-click it and go Get Info. Right, and then... From here, we're going to go to options, and it has start time and stop time. And quite simply, all we're going to do is change start time to 51 seconds, and you can put it more exact if you want. It was about 51 and a half, so I'm going to put 51.5 seconds, and I click OK. And then basically, every time the song starts, it was in a playlist. Or if you just double click it to, to play it it will start at 51 and a half seconds, so let's, if I press the enter key, it will should start at 51.5 seconds, so I'll press enter. We didn't have to listen to all that British girl, no, we're not. We could also go to the end of the song, and that's quite common as well on YouTube um, videos, because when you're actually watching the video, there might be a pause at the end when, there, when there's like, um, a bit of animation or something, and you, obviously you can't see it, and you don't want you can't hear it either. So you might want to reduce the gap so that you don't have to listen to a big pause before the next song comes on. So what we're going to do is just check again. We're going to look at here, um, and we're going to take note of the time it takes for the song to actually stop. So let's start from about eight seconds away from the end and see when it stops, and then we'll just note the time it starts here. So. Okay, it's already finished, so we'll go a little bit further back. It's for 12 seconds. So let's say it stops about there. It was about 4 minutes, 25 seconds and a half. That's when the song finished. So we don't want to listen to 10 seconds or 9.5 seconds of just nothing. So we're going to right-click on the song again, go to Get Info again. We're going to go to the stop time this time, and we're going to change that to, instead of 4.35, we're going to look at this, 4.25, which is 4.25. Point five. Okay, Click okay. Um, let's just make sure this isn't shuffled. Yeah, so what we're going to do if we go back a little bit and let it play, you should go straight to the next song quickly without having to do a pause. So we'll play it. See? 
it just went straight to the next one and we had to do the 10 seconds. So that's basically all you've got to do to trim the ends off the, the clip. So I hope that was, was helpful.